Hey, Omar, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good, good. Well, I guess, can you kind of touch on your journey a little bit to how you got to this point? I know you're a local guy. I think UCF may have recruited you out of high school. Was, was, have you kind of had a connection with Coach Dawkins for a while? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, Coach Dawkins is actually one of the few coaches that i actually seen at probably every uh, every AU game. So, And really, he came to a lot of my high school games. So we already had a relationship, him and Coach Norris and Mamadou, well, most of the staff. What's your style of play? What will we see from you? Um, playing fast, defensive, uh, anchor, uh, I like to protect the paint, um, rebounding, and just play hard and do whatever the coaches need to do my job. You're still kind of, I guess, new to, 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 UCF, to UCF and what Coach Dawkins is asking for, but you've, you've, played, you've played a lot. You're one of the veterans on this team. How do you kind of bring that experience to kind of the younger guys as they're getting their, their feet wet here? Um, for the most part, I, I say listen to the coaches. Um, they know the, uh, that w what the team needs, and they know their, their system. This is their system. So just really just listening and um, just playing hard, really. I feel like if you play hard, you're going to be in the right spot, and everything's going to go well. What's it uh, been like for you trying to gel with these new guys here? Um, just really just bringing in from what I know and um, just talking to my teammates uh, on and off the court. Really just bonding, and then like after practice, we talk to them. Uh, I ask them like what they see, what they need from me, and then we I ask them what they, what I need from them. So really, just communication is the biggest part. What's the challenge that comes with playing for a couple different schools and a couple different coaches, and now uh, you've got to learn Coach Dawkins and his staff and a new system? What's that challenge like for you? Um, well, you know, this is my fourth school, so I, I've been challenged three times before this. So really, just adapting and. Uh, just listen more than I talk. So I just try taking as much information as I can. And uh, when I'm on the sideline or anytime I'm out, I try to just, I try to study uh, how people play and, and really uh, the system of the game. What does it mean for you to have this opportunity to be at UCF at this point of your career? Like I said, you've been to a few different schools, mm -hmm. maybe didn't you know come here out of high school. Have this opportunity, this is your final year, correct? Yes, sir. Your final year of eligibility, UCF's going into the Big 12, you're local, maybe your family can maybe see your games a little easier, I don't know, but uh -huh. what does it mean to you to be at UCF this season? Um, it means a lot, especially that we're going to the Big 12, so uh, just really just put Orlando on the map and uh, really just <laughs> Just enjoy this journey and the process. So, so what was that kind of that portal process like? You were at JU last year. Mm -hmm. You got back in the portal as a graduate. You know, did did you consider many other schools? Or what, I guess you had a familiarity with Coach Dawkins too. Mm -hmm. So was it an easy decision to make? Or, or um, it was just easy wise that it's close to home and uh, you know you got other players that I played with and I played against like uh, CJ Walker, Antoine, Darius. I played with him. He played on my AU team and um, really. Like, I just feel like it would be easy for me to gel with them since I play with them, they know my style, and I know their style. Yeah, how important is it for you to have a, a really good season? I, I don't know how you've kind of felt about your past stops, but you know, to, you had a lot of potential, obviously, coming out of high school, been in different schools. So how important is it for you to kind of show that potential? And you know, Coaches really talked highly of how you've performed. So how important is it for you to have a really good season? Um, it's very important, and plus this, this is the last go-around. So. I mean, I might as well just leave it all on the court, leave it all in Orlando. <laughs> what responsibility do you feel? You mentioned going into the Big 12, the mm -hmm. pride that you take being part of that first team that's going to be in the Big 12. Um, just bringing in what I, uh, just bringing in all the experience I have playing in the big arenas, uh, sold out crowds. So really, just keep my teammates locked in and, and just be a vet and, and uh, just talk to my team and, and lead. Are you comfortable in that leadership role? Uh, yes, sir, of course. Um, I mean, my teammates, they listen to me, not listen to them. So I feel like we're so comfortable with each other. It's not that hard to lead because every time I talk, they always listen. And when they talk, I listen to them. The yeah. past few seasons, it's looked like, it looks like you've been getting better offense every year. Uh -huh. well, how, are, how are you taking that leap this year? Um, well, before I came, I looked at a lot of film on uh, just, uh, what I needed to work on. So, And then come with the coaches, they, they watch my film also. So working with them a lot and just watching a lot of film and see where I got work at and just really working on my weaknesses on my off time. What are those areas? Um, I like to work on both hands, uh, mid-range, uh, pass and setting screens, uh, watching film, see like how, how I could get open and what I got to do to get open, get the ball, just things like that. What do you like about this team? Who are maybe some players who are standing out? I guess maybe you've had a one scrimmage so far. Like, what, what stands out to you about this basketball team? Um, this team is very versatile. Um, the genuine guys. So. I mean, we love each other. That's why I like it. So it brings us close together. And every day, everybody willing to work. And then this team, the one thing I noticed, we have a lot of gym rats. So dudes always in the gym on the off time, getting in work, putting in the extra work to do things that we need to do to be successful. In order to be successful, what will this team need to do? What will we see night in and night out if it's working? Um, one thing I know, we're, we're the underdogs. So every, every game we play, is going to be a dog fight. So 
Like, it, I feel like rankings don't matter. We at the bottom. I'd rather be pick last than pick first and get it from the dirt and up. Well, you just said it, pick last. Yeah. I mean, you guys saw it, you know, a lot of the Big 12 and the Big 12 poll and everyone else is kind of predicting you to be at the bottom. How do you guys take that? I mean, it really just show, it shows the fight in us, really. Uh, it shows how hungry we are to, to want to be at the top. So, I mean, really, the, I just brought up the rankings, but really it doesn't affect me because every night anybody can win. So, Looking at your past three seasons, your blocks fly off the stat sheet. Do you expect to be the leading defensive anchor of this UCF team? Uh, yeah, that's definitely my goal anywhere I am. So uh, just be a defensive player and uh, just you know lead lead in that way. Awesome. All set. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Good luck here. Yes, sir.